Hi guys, so this is video 10 of Duke Prints and today we're going to be working on trotting on the lunge for the first time. So in this video it's just going to be Duke because Prince here is just a little bit too young for me to do too much lunging. He's only three so we've still got lots of bones and muscles developing. Um, and I want to show you different ways um, of how I build up the confidence and the strength on the lunge working with the trot work. So there'll be lots of different ideas, um, some stills with some arrows and angles on so I can talk through about straightness. So hopefully it's useful and enjoy. Thanks very much. So we're starting here with um, Duke in the wash bay. And you can just see that I've lowered down. I really want to get a good stretch over his back and neck and just invite him down with me. So we're then gonna move into the arena. And I always start my work off with seeing if I can get him to really stretch down and relax. You can see my right hand is just giving his neck a little rock there, just trying to encourage him to soften. And that's a really nice stretch, good. So we're then gonna move on to flexion. So I like to do a little bit of work on both reins to just see if I can get him again to just let go. And you can see here he's holding. He's kind of a little bit shut down again. So I'm gonna use my left hand and my little finger to just put it in his mouth, just soften that jaw, you can see a little bit of licking and chewing, and then he lets go. But it's still quite tight. So I'm gonna use my right hand to just give his neck a little wiggle and say, come on, let go. And the finger in the mouth is a really good tool, guys. I recently learned this. Sometimes when they get a bit still and a bit stuck, just having that little bit of kind of something to think about just relaxes them. And you can see here the frame's much longer and softer. Using my right hand to just lower underneath the halter, then on the nose to have a little bit of flexion. He's come up a little bit, so I'm going to go back to lowering and pressure and release any slight let go and you soften. My left hand's just on the wither, encouraging him to stay still. And again here, just a little bit more softness. And, you know, we've worked a lot on this, but now we can get to the point where I can really flex him round to the right, round to the left, and on the long lines I can do the same. But this has taken a lot of work. But you can see there, he's really let go. So for me, he's ready to work. Then I might do a bit of in hand. Um, so here I'm going to show you a good backup. Um, takes a little bit of time to get into it. But I've got a nice length of frame. He's in a nice shape. A little bit of contact. I'm looking down at the feet. I'm just encouraging him to go back in the diagonal pair. It takes a second or two, but now we're in it and that's lovely. He's not going tight in the neck. One more step to square up. Because I'm going to want that for my dressage. Super. But a really nice, soft frame. So here I'm going to keep the noise on the video. Um, I will talk through it with you. But I just thought it'd be nice for you to listen to what I'm asking. And this is Duke's first trot. So you can see he's a bit roly poly still here. Um, but I'm just encouraging him here, sending him out from my body. You can see I just widen through and encourage him driving him from behind. I've got the schooling whip because that's what he's used to. I don't want to change anything. I haven't moved up to a lunge whip yet. A little tap tap on my welly and say, come on, wakey wakey. Now I've obviously done lots of walk halt transitions and now I'm just going to see if I can encourage that a little bit more. Don't want to do it too quick and frighten him. Super. So I just want to get him into trot and then bring him back down so it's all calm and quiet. There's nothing worse than a horse first time going off into trot, gets quicker and quicker, it loses its balance, it starts to panic, then you've got a haul on the front end. Little by little. And you can see here, you know, he halts beautifully, he has to put both eyes on me, he really needs that reassurance. And again, using my body to drive him out. Now all this, guys, is done off the rope halter. So the lunge line is attached underneath the chin. So he's got the bridle, but there's nothing pulling him in the mouth. It's all just nice and soft. Brilliant. So onto the other rein. So you'll see that I've just done a couple of transitions on both reins. That's all I've done for this day. I just want to sow the seed, let him have a little think about it. But this way, a little bit more confident. He's moving off into the trot a little bit better. Um, really pleased with this. So again, just a couple of transitions. 
Um, keeping him quite close. I don't want him to be too far away. Just want to keep it all steady. Oh boy. Oh. Super. So notice how he's halted straight this time. Now, here we've got a picture of the roller. I've got some chains and some side reins. Basically, it's things just hanging. Things for him to feel, things to make a noise. And this video I've put in with the noise so that you can hear the rhythm beats and the chains. If you don't know about the rhythm beats, guys, from my other videos, they're really useful. It's great for us to hear. Also, settles the horse into a nice rhythm. You can see the trot, the trot is a bit choppier, um, it's not quite as smooth, the transitions aren't quite as good yet, but that's because he's got more things to think about. Now obviously I've built up to having things hanging off the sides, um, but he has been very reactive to anything on the side, anything making a noise. I've had to really take my time, really build up to this. But this is good, he's starting to snort and relax. Now I feel like we're getting slightly cheeky. <laughs> Ooh, good boy. Super. Top, top. So I've put this clip in as well because I've now got the lunge line, the spare one, attached to the outside. It's tied up nice and safely. But you can see it can move around a little bit. So again, it's just another feel for him. Um, something tapping his sides, a little bit of weight. Lovely transition. Lovely transition. And he is really starting to relax a little bit more through the transitions. The stride's getting a little bit longer and smoother. So again here we're just working on a little bit softer, but there's just a bit of cheeky eye. You guys won't be able to see this. Um, but his eyes definitely change. We're on about week five or six and he's just starting to test me. I've had some rain, the grass has come through a little bit. I'm very thoughtful on these things. But you can see here, he's just got his eye on me, he's swinging his quarters out a little bit and he's just going, hmm, not so sure about this. He understands me driving into the contact. We've done a lot of this. So there's no reason for him to try and whip round. But we're going to have a little think about it this way. So we start again with the walk halt transitions. Um, and I've got the lunge line in my hand and actually I'm going to throw it at him here because he's not listening to me. He's being quite cheeky and I'm really saying, right, come on, get on with it. I'm calm. I'm quiet with my voice, but he's got to know he moves on. And here we have a little bit of a whoopee. But again, you've just got to stay grounded. Keep calm. Just going to let him counter on for a second. Think about it. Come back and be quick to get on again. And you've got to get back into that, driving them into the contact. They've got to learn. They can't get, um, you know, whip round and get back behind you. And he tests a few more times. But actually, that was it. You know, it was quite sedate. But I think because I've been so thoughtful about what I've done, I haven't put him in a situation where we've had too much of this. Um, so unfortunately there's no exciting videos, but that's a good thing for him. So here we've got his first saddle. So I've played around here, um, building up to this. Next video I'm going to stay quiet, because I'm actually videoing you can hear. This is the first time I've saddled. I've been around with it on the yard a few times, and I've done lots of practicing with um, the roller and things flapping on the roller. So lunge lines attached and bouncing them up and down. Good boy! So he's got used to the fact that things jingle on the roller. So hopefully the stirrups today. Trot on. Didn't ask. Trot on. Didn't ask. Good boy. Good boy. And ooh, walk on. Good lad. Good lad. And and good boy. Very clever. Very clever. Going to go and give him a pat. A little scratch. So this pony really benefits from reassurance, from lots of praise and scratches. And I was really pleased with that. So here we're going to do a little bit of lowering through the transition, see if we can just get him to relax. So I hold my lunge line, guys, like my reins. Finger and thumb down the rein, bottom three fingers feeling. I may use my voice and lower 
as I feel the rope to encourage him to just soften down. But the more he relaxes, the more push you get, the longer the stride, the better the transition. That was nice. Did he stay with his head down going up into trot then? That was nice. That was nice. Just patience, guys. Patience and lots of transitions. So there was a little hop up there. So a bit more of a diagonal push from one. Not quite as even. But the next one's a little bit smoother. And the more you do, the stronger they get. All good. That's a lovely lower. And he stays long and soft into the halt. Super. Really chuffed. So here we've got another clip, but this time we've got the strips down. So guys, I always tie my strips up. I tie them up and under the girth so that they can't swing back. And I just build on... Um, maybe loosening the strap underneath so they can move more each day as they get their confidence and then eventually I might do a little bit of work so they're not tied so they can really move around but you don't want to go into frightening them too soon oh that was lovely oh that was lovely and actually you can see here he's just starting to steady a little bit move on again playing around with that change of pace you can hear me, Ooh. and then on again before he walks. Unfortunately, they didn't catch it quick enough. We've got some really lovely videos of that. And look at that beautiful neck and stretch. Super picture. So again, really softening. Lovely. And these little moments, guys, that you've got to keep building on. Because there, there are days we think, oh, God, am I getting anywhere? But you are, it just takes time. And writing a diary can really help. Now, this clip's really interesting. I've put it in slow-mo. Look at his footfalls. He's not, hind legs aren't following the front. He's swinging out. He's rolling in. Um, and this is just young, unbalanced horse, too quick. But look, the blue line showing the distance, you know, how wide he is. The red arrow showing how the right front is really coming down and under rather than um, up and through. Um, here you've got the hind leg right out, not under. The red arrow with the right hind coming under his midline, not staying upright. The next little video or picture you've got um, the blue arrow. He should be level. You know, he's not. He's really angled. Now, there's obviously a degree of tilt um, on a circle, but not to this extent. You know, this is just young, unbalanced and can actually look quite unlevel. Here on the other rein, still not as smooth, but the hind legs following the front. He's much more consistent. His hind leg is coming under. Um, you can see the blue line under, the red line at the bottom with the hind following the front, the red line at the top, back level. Here, he's level. He's coming up in the inside shoulder. He's stretching. Now, everybody needs a smudgy. My little companion. And here we are, back in the field, telling his little brother all about it. Really chuffed with this video, guys. I hope you find it useful and helpful. So I hope you enjoyed those videos, guys, um, and they're useful. Any questions, just give me a shout. Please like and share. Um, subscribe to my page. If you click on the little bell, then it will inform you of all videos. So we've got lots more to come. We've got um, some videos on clipping and hopefully helpful information about mites um, with our feathered friends here. We've got um, long lining coming up. And again, a little bit more on the trot work and working towards the correct canter strike off on the lunge. Working with long lines and encouraging the horse to stay more um, correct, straighter. So yeah, lots to come guys, keep watching. Thanks very much.